The process of uh, chemotherapy delivery uh, starts with the oncologist who writes the order and ultimately ends up with the patient receiving the treatment. And what would one would really like to happen is what the oncologist meant for the patient to get is what the patient got. Um, but uh, inevitably, this is a human process, and people can make errors. People can make calculation errors. And in old paper-based systems um, where a dose was 375 milligrams per meter squared and you had to multiply by the body surface area and you transcribed the, the number wrong off the calculator or you plugged in the wrong numbers off the calculator. So there needs to be a step of verification. So they typically, uh, and it depends, different si systems use different verification processes. Here at Memorial, we have always had after the oncologist, it goes to a, a chemotherapy nurse who reviews the order, checks the calculations, checks to make sure the regimen is one that um, has been vetted and is, is known. Then that same document goes to the pharmacist. That has to be vetted, make sure that the doses are correct, that the timing is correct. Um, and then finally, there's a third step of verification when the treating nurse receives the mixed drugs to make sure that the mixed drugs match with the order and then that is what's administered to the patient. So it's trying to achieve a zero error uh, rate of administration. Could there be errors along the way? Yes, but with the various checks and rechecks, the errors never make it to the patient. Mm -hmm.